Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I write and solve two step equations from word problems? So the first thing we need to do is translate the word problem into an equation. So we can write an equation to represent two step equations in real world situations. The first thing we will need to do is translate the words into math. We will use the least list of keywords below to help. It can also help to identify what the variable represents. And then after we write our equation, we can solve it with inverse operations to answer the problem. So let's look at some key words. The same as, equivalent, and is all means the equal sign. And then multiplication is anything that is repeating, such as each, every, per, or product. This is going to be the coefficient of your variable. And then more than, increased by, total, gains, or altogether, or sum. Basically, if we're going up, that's going to mean addition. And then less than, decreased by, difference, fewer, or anything that's going down will mean subtraction. And then some words that mean division are quotient, half, split, or shared equally. So let's look at number one. We're going to read it. We'll identify the variable, and then that will help us write the equation. It says, Adam bought season passes for six flags. It cost $60 to join plus $20 for each ticket purchase after. If he spent a total of $240, how many tickets did Adam purchase? So the question is asking for how many tickets did Adam purchase? That is the unknown. So we will let our variable X represent that unknown, the number of tickets. Now that we know what X represents, let's see if we can write an equation so that we're able to sol solve for it. It says that it cost $60 to join plus 20 for each. That's going to be our multiplication. That'll represent X. And then he spent a total of $240. So it cost $60 to join plus 20 for each ticket. Remember the number of tickets was X, so it's 20X for the cost of the tickets. And the total he spent was $240. So there's our equation, now let's solve it. To solve for X, the first thing I need to do is remove that constant of positive 60 by subtracting 60 from both sides. And it zeroes out and I bring down the 20x and then I'm left with 240 minus 60 would be 180. And then the last thing I do is divide by 20 and 180 divided by 20 is 9. So x equals 9. So that means if he spent $240 that he bought 9 tickets based on that $60 join fee and then the $20 per ticket. Okay, number two, it says Josh collects baseball cards. He has four more than twice the number that his brother has. If Josh has 48 baseball cards, then how many does his brother have? So that is the unknown, what we are looking for. How many does his brother have? So we'll let our variable be X, and that represents the number of cards that his brother has. So now let's see if we can write an equation and we can find X the number of cards that his brother has. So it says that Josh has four more than. So we will add four to twice the number that his brother has. Twice the number that his brother has would be two X since his brother's cards are X. So we are going to add four, four more than twice the number that his brother has. And that will equal how many cards Josh has. And it says that Josh has 48 cards. So there's the equation. Now let's solve it for X to figure out how many cards his brother has. So the first thing that I need to do is undo that plus four constant by subtracting four from both sides. And I'll bring down the two X and then four minus four zeros out. And then 48 minus four is 44. And then I'll divide by two. So X equals 22. So his brother has 22 cards. Okay, number three, it says, if the perimeter of the isosceles triangle below is 22, what is the value of X? 
So let's first see if we can write an expression for the perimeter. I have x plus x, so 2x plus 6. So the perimeter equals 2x plus 6. And they told us that the perimeter is 22. So our equation will be 22 equals 2x plus 6. And now they want us to find the value of x. So to get x isolated, the first thing I need to do is undo that constant of plus 6 by subtracting 6 from both sides. 22 minus 6 is 16. So I get 16 equals 2x. And then my last step is to divide by 2. So I get that 8 equals x. So the solution here is x equals 8. All right, number four says if the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, what is the value of x? So basically, sum means add. So we're going to add these equations together, or those angles together, and set it equal to 180. So let's go ahead and add them. 100 plus 30 is 130 plus I cannot combine it with the third angle 2x. So I'll just put plus 2x. And the sum is equal to 180. So there's our equation, 130 plus 2x equals 180. And now I need to solve for x. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that positive 130 constant by subtracting 130 from both sides. That zeroes out, I'm going to bring down the 2x and 180 minus 130 is 50. And then I'm going to divide by 2 and 50 divided by 2 is 25. So the value of x here is 25. Number 5 says the wind chill in Alaska is negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit and is decreasing so subtracting two degrees each hour. If the temperature is now negative 21 degrees Fahrenheit, how many hours have passed? So there's the unknown that we're looking for, the number of hours. So we will let x, our variable, represent the unknown number of hours. Now let's write an equation to find that unknown number of hours. It says that the wind chill is negative 13 and it's decreasing, so subtracting, two degrees each hour. Each is that multiplication, and the hour, remember, was x, so we are multiplying x by two degrees, and it's decreasing, so it's subtracting. And then it said it is, so equals, now negative 21. So there's my equation, negative 13 minus 2x equals negative 21, and I just need to solve this for x now. So the first thing I need to do is undo that minus 13 constant by adding 13 to both sides. That zeroes out, I'll bring down the negative 2x, and negative 21 plus 13, those are different signs, so I'll subtract them. 21 minus 13, 11 minus 3 is 8, that's 0. So it's 8, and then I keep the sign of the larger absolute value, which was negative 21. So negative 21 plus 13 is negative 8. And then my last step is to divide by negative 2, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our solution here is after 4 hours that temperature will be at negative 21 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, number six, Taylor joined a meal subscription service. She paid $15 to join and $10.50 per meal. If she has spent a total of $99, how many meals has she purchased? So there's the unknown that we're looking for that I'll let X represent the number of meals that she has purchased. So now that we have our variable defined, let's see if we can write an equation for it. She paid $15 to join. And then on top of that, so in addition, she paid $10.50 per meal. The meals was X, 
So we will add 10 50 per meal to the 15. And then she spent a total of $99 so far. So now I just need to solve this equation for X and that will tell me how many meals she's bought. So I'm going to subtract 15. 15 minus 15 zeros out. I'm gonna bring down the 10 50 X and then 99 minus 15 is 84. And then the last step is to divide by 10, 50. Okay, so I need to do 84 divided by 10, 50. I'm just gonna move the decimals over once to help me with that. So I'm gonna do 105, how many times does it go into 840? I think that that would be eight times. I'm gonna multiply to verify that. Eight times five is 40. Eight times zero is zero plus four is four. Eight times one is eight. So yes, the 105 goes into 840 eight times. So that means that X equals eight. So how many meals has she purchased? She has purchased eight meals.